Okay, the next thing we've got here is... Is this natto? Oh my gosh, it's natto. Well, hello again. So earlier, I showed you that we got a box of organic foods from an online co-op. So now, one of the interesting items in that box was natto. And I've actually never eaten natto before. I've smelled it before and I've had natto flavored potato chips. They were okay, <laughs> but I've never actually tried the real natto before. I always hear it's gross. I've heard that it tastes like things like snot to just like really salty and it's slimy. I don't know. The texture part doesn't bother me so much, but like the smell is pretty strong. So anyway, I thought there's no better chance than right now to try it on camera for YouTube. <laughs> the first time so here's what it looks like it came in a little container and it's traditionally eaten with like shoyu and karashi mustard and you can put some sliced green onions on it so i'm gonna do that and then it's traditionally eaten over a bed of rice so i've got some rice here so okay i just went to grab the green onions out of the fridge and whew, the other natto it came in a pack of three and it's already making the fridge smell bad but i don't know it smells kind of like Salty, mm, like fermented beans, which is exactly what it is. It's fermented soybeans, but okay, let's try it. So I'm gonna open it up here. Okay, so we've got a little karashi pack and this is like some, it almost looks like dashi, like shiro, shiro dashi. So, okay, this will, and then it comes, if you look here, it's got a little paper on it, which you peel off. Ooh, so sticky. <laughs> So I'm actually just gonna mix it up in this cup and I think that'll be fine, right? Ugh. It smells, it kind of smells like, like a mixture between cheese and like when my grandfather used to go harvest potatoes and he would store them next to the fireplace, like it, we, the, he has a really old house that's very cold in the winter. And so like the, the potatoes would be sitting by the fireplace all winter and like they were getting old and like that's what this smells like to me. That and like a mixture of cheese, aged cheese. So they are fermented. So I guess maybe that makes sense. Okay, so let me adjust the camera here so you can see what I'm actually doing. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is, so I just looked up online and went online and I looked up how to eat natto. And it said like, just you just mix the sauce and the karashi in and like some green onions if you want. And then you just stir it until it makes like a sticky paste. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, so I think what I'll do first is I'll pour this, the sauce on. This is bad at opening packages. Okay, I'm gonna pour the sauce on. I'm kind of just tastes like a dashi, slightly sweet dashi actually. Oh, and I'm gonna put some green onions on because that's how you traditionally eat it. Oh, oh, now when I add the green onion, like it kind of makes this, it smell better. Somehow it adds, takes away some of the pungency of it, I guess. Okay, now we'll put this karashi on. I like karashi, so I'm gonna go ham and just like dump it all in here. <laughs> I hope that's not a mistake. Okay, now the now you're just supposed to mix, mix, mix until it gets all sticky. <laughs> I've heard that it's either like you love it or you hate it. It's like no in between. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, look at it, guys! Neba neba. It's kind of fun. Oh, the karashi smells good. Neba neba. Okay, now apparently you're supposed to just like put it on top of rice. I'm a little bit scared, so I'm just gonna put like a little bit on top of here. If I don't like it, then the rest of it won't go to waste, but I don't know. <laughs> if we don't like it, we're probably just gonna throw them away. But I didn't wanna throw it away without trying it at least once. Okay. 
Now let's zoom back out. Okay, so I'm gonna try it. I'm a little bit scared. I can smell, now it kind of smells like rotten tomatoes to me. That's weird. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a little bit here. Ready? Here it goes. I'm nervous. <laughs> another bite. <laughs> okay. It's not as bad as I thought, but it's not great either. <laughs> so it's like in between. I don't think I would go for this, honestly. I don't like the slimy feeling in my mouth. The flavor isn't that bad, but I do feel kind of nauseous after eating just two bites of that. I'm gonna drink some lemon tea now. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna finish that. <laughs> you wanna try this? You like mommy. Lemon. Mommy. What do you think of it? No. Ah, <laughs> yeah, funny. <laughs> he doesn't like it either. <laughs> okay, so just sitting with that flavor in my mouth for a minute or two here, it tastes to me, it doesn't taste like snot like a lot of people say it does. To me, what it really tastes like is like rotten tomatoes that have been sitting outside for a long time. <laughs> um, yeah, like as you might know, I grew up on a farm and so like I'm well acquainted with like the smell of rotting vegetables because we would compost things that had gone bad. And it tastes exactly like the compost pile smells. So not, not exactly pleasant. <laughs> I'm thankful to Kolpishi Zenha for giving me my first true natto experience and uh, I can safely say that I don't ever need to do that again so thank you now I learned one more thing about myself <laughs> so I'm curious to know about you guys what do you think of natto do you like it love it hate it uh, never tried it before <laughs> let me know down in the comments down below uh, okay let's see if the lemon will get rid of the bad taste. Mm. 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 Oh, much better. Mm. Oh. Lemon. <laughs> okay so thank you for watching this video. I hope it was enjoyable for you. Maybe it was entertaining <laughs> to see a guy jeans reaction to eating natto for the first time. Anyway please remember to like, comment, subscribe and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>